hi there, I'm Laddick from LMSPulse.com and the eLearning Success Summit. Do you know who you're teaching? No, no, seriously, ask yourself that again. Do you have a deep understanding of who the audience is for your course or content? Unfortunately, it is incredibly easy to create learning content that completely misses the mark. This is all the more disappointing when we've invested serious time, effort, and money into developing a course, or sometimes courses. Preventing this type of failed investment is fairly easy if you take the time to understand your audience. Here are three critical questions to ask to perform a sound analysis about your audience. First, what's the primary goal of the audience? The learning needs and expectations of a frontline cashier are likely radically different than that of a designer or an engineer. By understanding what your audience hopes to take away from your training, you'll be able to create content and experience that really hits the mark. Second, when and where will learning take place? While e-learning is, by its nature, mobile and always available, you'll do well to understand how and when your learners will consume your content. Can you use audio? Is video a possibility? Or will your lessons be one minute or 30 minutes? Now third, what technical limitations does your audience have? Designing learning with the assumption that all learners have access to high speed, unlimited bandwidth may doom your project. Take the time to understand the availability of devices and connections before you begin to design. Now, these are just three critical questions you need to ask to understand your audience to deliver effective learning. I invite you to level up your e-learning game by getting a copy of the 10 critical factors for optimizing student engagement in e-learning. Now, this isn't just another PDF. It's a 10-part manual that you can use to rethink how you're engaging your learners. Just type manual in the comments below, and I'll send you the link to download and get started today. Thanks.